money when you import goods. Yes, that is easy. But one day you sit at home, both of them give, give you money, but they don't give you the same satisfaction. Therefore, the issue of manufacturing cannot come to Nigeria earlier than now. This is the right time. We see a lot of conglomerates leaving Nigeria. Leaving it for who? Leaving it for us. We must do it right. They will come back. What is needed at this point in time is encouraging our people, educating our people, helping our people to manufacture what we consume. That is a, a movement, a step in the right direction. The importance and role of the manufacturing sector to the growth of the Nigerian economy in the light of the present economic realities was brought to the fore as the Southeast branch of the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, MAN, covering Anambra, Enugu and Ebony State recently held its 35th annual general meeting at Nike Lake Resort Hotel Enugu on Friday, December 8, 2023. With the theme, Southeast, a world of manufacturing opportunities, the event which was cheered by Chief Dr. Sa Emanuel Okonkwo, chairman of Ekulo Group, was a roll call of chief executive officers of conglomerates and emerging national corporate captains of industry, royalties and dignitary from all works of life. In her welcome address at the occasion, the Chairman, Manufacturers Association of Nigeria Man, covering the region, Lady Ada Chukudozie, emphasized on the need for the manufacturing sector to assume its right place as a key driver of the economy for Nigeria to bounce back from its present dwindling economic fortunes. The essence of my speech today is centered on why everyone should prioritize, focus on and embrace industrialization for especially export-oriented industrialization for any foreign currency and import substitution industrialization for sufficient feedstock. While and calling on the relevant stakeholders, especially government and its agencies, to provide an enabling environment that will encourage manufacturing activities in ease of doing business, Lady Chukudozie further advocated for favorable taxation and the articulation of an overall policy framework that is friendly to manufacturers in the quest for moving Nigeria from a consumption to a production economy. Africans export more of commodities than finished goods. With the African continental free trade area, where the African continents have come together to create a free trade area, a big continental market, the question is, what products will the African nations be trading on the market floor? Secondly, our present bank has, is quite passionate and eager to develop the continent to build key infrastructures which will engender and facilitate productivity and trade among the African continent. In his keynote address, the Governor of Enugu State, Dr. Peter Mba, represented by Deputy Governor Barista Ifani Osai, congratulated the MAN Southeast branch for the successful hosting of their annual general meeting and reiterated the willingness of the Mba-led government in Enugu State to collaborate and work closely with manufacturers in transforming Enugu State into a manufacturing giant. I simply couldn't forego this opportunity to be here. Let me start by welcoming you to Enugu. I must commend the decision, and of course your decision, to host this August event in Enugu here. I consider the choice of Enugu as a venue for this event quite apt, given Enugu's historical position. We'll continue to play host to all South Easterners, to all Nigerians, to all Southerners that once called Enugu home, always feel welcome 
because Enugu will always be your home and will always be your brothers. We cannot close this address without acknowledging the sterling work done by the chairman of man, Anambra, Enugu and the Boy branch, Lady Ada Chukudoze, and of course, her benefactor that she has told us. So, um, Chief Dozier, the benefits after your wife should spread to the rest of us. Royal dignitary and the owner of Ife, Oba Adeye Initon Baba Tunde Ogunsi, who stressed the need for Southeast state to tackle insecurity, pointing out that the region cannot live in its full potential and develop meaningfully unless the challenges of insecurity are checkmated and nipped in the bird. This is the bedrock of it, and we are in Enugu now. A lot of people don't even know that that's the first capital where administration actually converged first in Nigeria. A whole lot of things emerged from Igbo land. I want to implore each and every one of you, please come together for greatness, come together for the betterment of the generation yet unborn, come together to lift each other up, do not desecrate your brothers, irrespective of the ills your brothers is bringing to the society. Try in one way or the other, look at what your brother is adding value in any area. The guest speaker, Dr. Billy Okoye, MFR, a former group executive director at the NMPC, also spoke on the central theme of the event, while goodwill messages from notable leaders and captains of industries were also received at the occasion. Welcome the efforts of government as these initiatives will create a more conducive environment for businesses in the state. In general, I wish to commend your excellencies for the good working relationship with our members in Anambra, Enugu and Eboin states. They currently enjoy a cordial relationship with your government and whenever we called on your officials, they have always answered us. We appeal that this relationship be sustained and deepened. On this same platform, we assure you that MAN will continue to contribute to the development of the industrial sector of Anambra, Enugu, and Eboyi states in particular, and the economies in general. Our people are doing very well. We are very proud of you. Like those of us who are in the legislature, we are very proud of you. We don't want to lose any opportunity to support the entrepreneurial spirit of human mind. We don't turn away from that. We don't shy away from that. The event, which also featured the Southeast Icon Award and Gala Night, saw the presentation of Southeast Icon Award to 18 deserving personalities, including Oba Adeye Enito Babatunde Ogunsi, the Oni of Ife, Chief Emmanuel Iwanyao, President Ohanez Ndibo, Chief Innocent Chukuma, Chairman Innocent Group, Chief Ima Bishop Okonkwo, Chairman Ikulo Group, Chief Daniel Chukudozie, Chairman Dozi Group, Senator Dr. Patrick Ifanyoba, representing Anambra South Senatorial District, Senator Uche Ekunife, DG Southeast Governors Forum, and Chief Obinna Iyebu, Chairman Kubana Group. Other notable personalities who received awards of recognition at the event include Iyom Ambassador, Chinelo Nwokolo, founder, Okpotokboada Igbo Worldwide, Chief Christian Udechuku, Commissioner of Industries and Umbra State, Chief Sunday Ezo Biora, Chairman, Sonchi Integrated Farms, His Lordship, Right Reverend Dubisiobi, Bishop Anglican Diocese of Newi, Major General Victor Ezugu, retired, former Director, DICON, Professor Felix Oragu, Nuclear Physicist, Chief Dr. Ikenna Ogwebu, Chairman Kojo Motos, and Engineer Dozie Mbanefo, Managing Director, New Crystal Communications. For us to realize the potentials of the people of the South, the people of Nigeria, 
in manufacturing industry. If you don't manufacture, there is no how you can grow. You can grow your GDP. If you don't export, your GDP cannot grow. It is not a rocket science. I'm challenging the manufacturers. We can't be complaining all the time. Figure out what you need to do to make your businesses sustainable. And this is why I am indeed happy to be part of this 35th AGM, uh, which uh, the chairman, Mrs. Ada Chukudosje, is convocating. And I'm impressed by the quality of people. Uh, some of them, I'm very, very delighted that they are being honored today. Uh, most important is that everybody has come to realize that we cannot depend on everything we need from outside the country. It costs us so much. For instance, Ezugu MRAP, which I developed with my team of experts in Gina Shedra, Kaibo and others. It cost Nigeria just 120 million to buy one unit of it. But the one imported ones cost between 350 to 450 million naira for one unit. So you can imagine what is saving the country. The cost of one imported one will give you like three homemade armored vehicles. So it saves a lot of money and I want the current military leadership headed by the Chief of Defense Staff, General Chris Musa, to continue in his efforts to make sure that Nigeria is self-sufficient in defense equipment production. By that, we we'll employ more people, we we'll save our money, and then Nigerian security issues will be addressed once and for all. For me, I am charging the Igbo race. We are known as traders, but that era is gone. That era does not exist anymore. What we need to do, the traders need to find a way to partner with their suppliers. So now, they, where they are, their suppliers reside, they have gone so far ahead technologically wise. They are so technologically advanced. So it is now for our traders to go and find a way to partner with these suppliers and bring them into the market because here we have the market space. So that these um, um, manufacturers or suppliers abroad can begin to manufacture things, their goods here, and then take advantage of the market size that Nigerian market potents or that the Eastern region potents. We are going to do everything to protect local manufacturers. If we don't produce, we will not hope to have a good economy because everything, both foreign exchange, all these things are uh, creating problems for us. We, the lawmakers at the National Assembly level, are determined to do everything to protect local manufacturers. It will become a situation where anything that can be produced in Nigeria should not be allowed to come from outside. You know, we can only bring in things that we cannot produce. What we're looking to do is that we enable uh, our people, our industrialists, who are uh, engaged in the productive sector to expand their production base. We are talking with, um, we've signed an MOU with uh, the EEDC, uh, the, the electric, distribut electric distributor in the southeast, serving Anambra and the Niger Delta Power Holding Company to be able to provide 24-hour power supply to our industries, beginning with the Newe cluster. That's where the compensation is now, to get the Newe cluster to be connected for on a 24-hour power basis, and then we extend it to all of Anambra. Now, the goal of doing that is that the industries are able to work on a 24-hour basis, doing three shifts or two shifts of labor, which means that more of our people are employed, and the industrial manufacturers are also able to grow their wealth by multiplying their productive capacity, growing their turnover, and therefore being able to access more money. Now. That's some of the practical steps that we're taking. We're also creating a digital space, laying high uh, value fiber optic cables in partnership with a lot of companies across Anambra State to create uh, a digital ecosystem that supports the new economy that Professor Charles Shukumasoludo is building as governor of Anambra State. We are not only uh, creating physical infrastructure and digital infrastructure, as well as uh, creating new economic spaces through the parks. We're investing in our people because the governor says that the greatest assets we have in Anambra, the greatest capital is our 8.5 million people, okay? 
So we're investing in them. To first and foremost uh, congratulate manufacturers in the southeast, in which I'm one of them, for their resilience, irrespective of the infrastructural gap. They, they are investing, they are developing the southeast, and I want to encourage other southeasterners and the non-southeasterners to come to southeast and invest. And I want to encourage our leaders, our governors, to partner with industrialists all around southeast so that there will be a collaboration, you know, and then um, to develop southeast in terms of infrastructure, in terms of, uh, you know, you know, fighting insecurity. That manufacturing is the fastest way for economic growth and GDP growth of any country. It is a sure way to guarantee employment. It is one way to add value to natural resources and multiple things that come after that. It has a whole lot of positive multiplier effects. The event had in attendance Chief Emmanuel Iwayao as father of the day, Chief Dr. Sir Daniel Chukudozie, Executive Chairman Dozi Group, Chief Dr. Sir Alexandra Chika Okafo, Chairman MAN Elders Committee and Chairman Chikasin Group, High Chief Professor Obiora Okonkwo, CEO United Nigeria Airline, Senator Uche Ekunife, Senator Victor Ume, Chief Sir Chris Igwe, Chairman Mainland Oil and Gas, Mr. Valentine Ozibo, Chief John Nyamwodo, Chief Olisa Meto, among others. Thank <laughs> you.